We're ready to check in with our fourth WLC 10 challenger, Angie. Now, Angie shared with me that when she was little, she was told by her parents that crying was just seen as weak. So she has never felt the freedom to show emotion via tears. She'd opened up to our life coach, Carlin, about how her childhood and how it has shaped her. Take a look. My marks would be, like if I got a 92, the response would be, well, if you can get 92, why not? Why couldn't you get 100 type of thing? Right. That was childhood. Growing up, it was never good enough. In terms of my weight issue, um, was when my older daughter was three months old. Um, I had four-year-old twins as well, and uh, we ran into a family member at a festival, and we were invited to their place for dinner, and one of them said, well, I don't know if we have enough food to feed you, commenting on my Weeks. So I just had a three month, three month old. I was nursing her. I had two four year olds. So that that has really. I mean, she's 20 now. So for I've carried that for a while. I remember exactly where we were standing. And I mean, it was just it just words. I let words affect me. And you are now rewriting that story, which is what's beautiful. In order for us to rewrite those stories from our past, you have to now take new action, and which is what you're doing. Now you're taking your power back from that story and that narrative. This is the jar. Every time you try something new, I want you to write a note to Angie and put it on here. Let her know how proud you are of her because we want to acknowledge the fact that Angie's showing up, she's doing the work. Your inner critic will tell you, oh, this is too hard because it wants you to stay in your comfort zone. And for every positive, love note you write to Angie we are going to write something new that you'd like to try something outside of your comfort zone it doesn't have to be big I mean a new a color what's a color that comes to mind well, my favorite color is yellow but oh, me too I love, yellow. <laughs> I love yellow so we're going to try something yellow a blouse or even a nail color or a bag so let's try one more thing that we will add to our Try something new jar. I will maybe go to a cafe to read by myself. I going to love movies a little that. too much, but let's place the jar somewhere that you can see it. And as you go throughout the day or throughout the week, every time you try something new, acknowledge it. Okay. Because the more you do that, you end up depositing, I call them like confidence points in your bank account, in your confidence bank account. The next step is to now take your success planner because what gets scheduled gets done. There you go. That's amazing. I mean, we spent the whole time looking at our dogs. I love that they made the tape. Like, they, they were in there. Um, you took yourself out on a date, my friend. Tell me how that went. It was really awkward. <laughs> Very awkward because it's not me. Yeah. But it was amazing. Like, once I opened that book and just put myself in the moment, it was... Yeah. It was, it really felt good, actually. It you put really Angie good. first, yeah. right? Yes. Uh, now, Car, you talked to her about yellow. I love yellow. You ye love yellow. She was like, there's no way I'm doing anything yellow. Yes. You want to ask her about that now? Angie, okay. did we go beyond the comfort zone? Check yes. the <laughs> This is way outside of your comfort way zone. Outside. I love yes, that you did it. Outside. I love that you did it. You. Let's get you up on that scale and see what's going on now with the numbers. Take a look. Incredible. Incredible, my friend. Now, your starting weight is 206 pounds. You are now at 193. That is a total weight loss of 13 pounds. Seven. Seven inches lost today. We're only a month in. This is phenomenal. Joey, what can we say about Angie's progress? Two things. We have to manage expectations. So people are like, only 13 pounds? Only 13 pounds? That's are you kidding amazing. me? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I also want to say that in my clinic, you are, I can see that you're pushing yourself. And I have to, I even ask you if it's okay if I said this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. Is that you were in my clinic and you left and you're like, can I give you a hug? And I was like, yeah, I love hugs. You're like, I don't, it's out of my comfort zone, yeah. but can I give you a hug? And I was like, bring it in, bring it in, we're gonna hug. So nice. I really appreciate how much that you're working with all of us and breaking those boundaries. It's impressive. Yeah, it really yeah. Is. It is. So I love that. Yeah, we give out a lot of hugs around here, yes, so know, never so. feel shy to ask. <laughs> yeah. And we're very proud of your progress, both, you, you know, the internal and the external. It's yes. incredible.